I'm here today again with my friend Justin Holler from uh, David Weekly Homes, Build on Your Own Lot. And we have talked about a number of different parts of or topics relating to the Build on Your Lot option. We've talked about the overall process. We've talked about investment opportunities with the Build on Your Own Lot and how some of the things you may need to look at or be aware of if you're actually out there actively seeking to buy a piece of land that you can build on. Today, we're very excited to bring you basically, in my, I don't know what David Weekly calls it, but I kind of call it an all-in-one package because they not only can build the house for you, but they actually have lots available. So let me turn it over to uh, Justin, who kind of like to kind of kick us off, give us an overview of the opportunity that we're talking about here. Thanks, Charles. And yeah, I mean, it is a fantastic opportunity. You know, we, uh, this project started a few months ago with us becoming involved and, um, What's great about it is that, you know, building your lot doesn't really have the opportunity to supply land, mm. you know, where it's built on your lot, not our lot. Um, so what this does is it kind of makes it still is built on your lot, but we've partnered with a developer and they have 100 two acre lots out in Liberty Hill. You know, what's great about this is that it's out near the uh, Balcones Canyonlands Wildlife Refuge. In fact, this development is surrounded on three of the four sides by the refuge. Um, it is designed to be a more nature specific and habitat friendly development. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's going to have, you know, each home's going to have a water, their own independent water well, septic system, propane. So it's your, your own little independent capsule there. Just minutes from Liberty Hill High School, you know, a half hour from Leander. You know, it's a little out there, but it's, I mean, it is a really beautiful piece of land. What's the name of it? It's the Reserve at Balcones. All right. So the Reserve at Balcones, and you said they're two acre lots with respect to the models available. Is it a limited number or is it more like the build on your lot option where you have access to the whole portfolio? There's going to be a limited number of models, but it's not limited because we're saying you can't build this home there. It's with us partnering with the developer. The developer has some deed restrictions in place, and those okay. deed restrictions are 2,800 square foot minimum home. So any one of our David Weekly homes in the Austin portfolio that's 2,800 square feet or more, or can be made up to 2,800 right. square feet or more in a single family is gonna be fine to build there. If it's a two-story home, it has to hit a 3,000 square foot threshold. So those are the only major deed restrictions as far as home size goes. There's gonna be some other things in there that are pretty standard as far as you know exterior cladding and, and things like that. Okay. One of the many great things about this is that because it is surrounded by the Balcones Canyonlands, this is gonna be kind of a conservation development. Mm -hmm. So wanting to preserve as much of the natural landscaping as humanly possible because it is a marvelous view out there. I got you, I got you. And not to mention, you said that these are Two acre two lots. Two acre lots. So you're definitely going to be secluded from Absolutely. Any of your neighbors, right? Absolutely. It's two plus acres, actually. I should clarify that. So there's no lot smaller than two acres. Uh, there okay. are some that do extend a little bit past the two acre mark. Okay. And only for people who might be aware of some of the restrictions in the bass route, no kind of like endangered species or anything like that we need to be concerned with out there right well so you will have the golden cheap warbler uh build there's, there's a vegetation clearing i don't know 100 percent if that's going to be affected this is going to be specifically affected by it but like i said in whitewater springs which is another subdivision out there they that there are parts of it that are really you have like a five month period where you can't start any new clearing of vegetation but oh, no, there I should be you no know, other major restrictions as far as that goes i got you okay fair, fair, fair enough which fair is enough. a federal game and wildlife. I understood, yeah, because sometimes, and of course, from the builder's point of view, I'm sure that you've got that, you're understanding that, mm -hmm. but once someone were to move in, I didn't know if that was restrictive in any way on... No, it's, which is great. Actually, what's great about having the water features there is they're actually designed so that when the birds are migrating, they'll actually fly into ah. the community for getting yeah, water. So there's lots of, you know, thousands of different bird species that wow. are going to be able to be viewed. Yeah. Well, that sounds beautiful. That sounds beautiful. Okay, so you said you have over 100 of these lots available. Um, once someone were to make the decision that he wanted to pursue this, I'm assuming, again, maybe that's what, where I'm going. It's kind of like walk us through the process. Because I know Absolutely. that we talked about I'm building your lot. It's pretty much go find a lot and then come back to me, right? Then we'll start. In this case, you've already got the lot. What's interesting about this, and can I answer that question in a roundabout way, I think that, that what I found most of what I hear is that anyone right now, people that are looking for dripping springs or, or looking in Liberty Hill, we have a community out there in Liberty Hill, Rancho Santa Fe, like, man, I wish I would have gotten on this a little bit earlier. Man, I wish I would have gotten on this before the prices jumped. 
This is that opportunity. Mm. So right now, you know, we're selling at about $125,000 an acre in, in this community. Um, that price is going to jump probably a decent amount over the next six months because we're in the platting stages right now. So we've submitted our platting plan to the county and it's raw ground right now. Okay. Uh, so we're in the very early stages. So there is going to take a little bit of vision and a little bit of trust on the buyer and the customer's side of things to see what's going to come to fruition. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it's the great and perfect opportunity to get in on the bottom floor. Okay, I got you. So it sounds like at this point, someone would be able to secure a specific lot. Correct. But with where you're at in the development, or you or the other builder, the developer is at, is there would be, I assume, a delay before you could actually start yes. construction? Absolutely, okay. yes. But what's nice about it is that there's always gonna be that from concept to construction start, you're always gonna have that you know three to five month period where you're doing all of your due diligence, you're going through your design, you're getting appraisals done, all that's gonna happen. So we can still start our process on this. Mm -hmm. You know, we probably wouldn't start this till I'd say you know mid June on our process because we want to make sure that our plat's approved. Right now, what we're doing is we're taking interested customers out there and we're giving them a tour of the property, letting them see the rolling hills, showing them where lots would be staked out, mm -hmm. letting them get an idea of what it would be like to wake up in the morning and step out on your front or back porch and take a look at this beautiful view. You, you had said in the uh, previous video on the build on your lot that usually when you first start talking to when somebody moves in, approximately 18 months. Uh -huh. I mean, are we looking at about an equivalent time frame on this is, or is this going to be somewhat shorter, longer? Or? I'd say right now that's still a fair estimate okay. of time. Um, you know, you never know how things are going to go. Sure. It could extend a little bit. You know, right now we've, we've built in some fluff in the lot reservation side of things to allow for a year before construction can start. Okay. So even if somebody's doing a lot reservation right now, they'd have a full year before they have to really start construction. So I think that would push us into like a two year mark if it took us that long gotcha. before we started. But I, I don't anticipate that, you know, um, the, the county seems to be on board with this and you know, they're supposed to go through their, their 30 day review process. And once we get the approval, we're gonna start moving dirt, getting roads cut in, getting power lines buried out there and getting everything ready to go. And, and again, just to clarify, on the financing side, is this still going to be a build on your lot transaction? In other words, is that I purchase the, the lot mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna effectively pay for the construction. So it's not Correct. like I'm putting a deposit down and then buying a house that you're completed. I'm, I'm financing the construction of that house. Correct, and it, it's, it's very interesting because right now you have this lot reservation, which uh, basically is you putting a down payment on the lot. Oh, okay. Because you're not going through any financing purchases right now. I mean, you'd want to have a pre-approval on a certain purchase price, but simply because these lots aren't, haven't been approved by the county and it's not a 100% intact, we can only do a lot reservation right now. Okay. Once, once we have the lots, approved and, and everything surveyed and staked out ready to go then we can move forward to the process of them actually closing on the land mm -hmm. and going through our and, and finishing up our process a lot of things can happen all at the same time it's just us making sure that we're doing that delicate dance where we're not stepping on you know overstepping each other getting too far ahead of ourselves so right now the biggest thing is coming out there taking a look at it seeing the beauty of the land seeing the 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 and, and, and imagining what could be out there mm -hmm. Um, and, and really just kind of saying, yeah, this is where I want to be. Well, well, I'll say this, is that anybody out there who's not familiar with the build process, what he just said is a truly unique opportunity because most times builders aren't going to make that stuff available until they have that, that plot approved. Yep. And, that, and as you spoke of, is that at this point, it's only going to require a deposit to secure the lot. So again, the amount of money that you would that would be required on the front end is going to be substantially less than it would mm -hmm. be if you wait until all of these approvals are done. And what's really great about this is that while it's situated there in Liberty Hill, it actually is a little bit kind of not on the main road. It's a little bit off of the beaten path, which yeah. gives you a little bit more privacy and seclusion out there. I mean, it definitely sounds like this is one of the huge kind of like selling points or, or advantages of an opportunity like this. It's not like you're right in the middle of or close to the shopping center where mm -hmm. you have a lot of that excess traffic this is about you said gated community yes sir. you said very big lots and you said a lot of seclusion i guess you would call it i mean just kind of like this is my home this is my my domain yeah some guaranteed privacy yeah right now 
David Weekly has, and another partnership with this is going to be Dree's Custom Homes. So okay. it's going to be David Weekly, Dree's Custom Homes, as well as uh, a small custom builder that, that actually the developer uh, owns. They'll right. help on some custom jobs. But other than that, those are going to be the only three builders that are building in this community. Okay. Um, we currently have 12 lots that are reserved for David Weekly, as you can see on the map. Um, there are three lots that are already sold, and then the Dries lots are going to be the one that are in yellow on the map. Okay. Now, these are not hardline. These are just our initial swipe and what we picked up. Let's say that you know lot four is one that we have reserved, but you actually want lot seven, which we don't have reserved. It's a quick phone call for me to make to the developer saying, hey, I'll change my lot four reservation to lot seven, and then I've got a person who wants it. You know, it's real nice and real fluid right now. We have a lot of uh, a lot of input as far as some of the deed restrictions and things like that go. The, the floor plan square footage and things like that aren't going to be changed, but, you know, there are some minor tweaks here and there that we can absolutely make. And, and uh, But so far, I mean, I think it's a great, friendly community that is really going to be, I mean, I don't think there's anything like it out there. You know, I get emails, texts, and phone calls almost every day from people who are thinking about buying or selling real estate here in the Austin area, and I would love to help you out too. If you like this video, you should check out this other one that I did. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. All of my contact information is in the video description. So don't be shy. Let's make your real estate dreams come true.